My name is Jabari Smith. Getting ready for the NBA draft. You know, that's what I am. I'm a shooter. Trying to be that number one pick. You know, not everybody in the world can go to the NBA. This is Todd Washington from Phoenix, Arizona. An easy one here for Washington. And this is my NBA draft process. My name is J.D. Davidson from Alabama. Life is great. I'm living out the dream. Don't let nobody take the joy out of it. My ultimate goal is to be one of the greatest ever. What's up, Overtime? It's Jabari Smith. I'm here at the State Farm Draft House with my boy Tata and JD. Let's go check it out. Yes, sir. Two sets of couches, fancy bases. I feel like the best part of all of this, though, is just the view of the lake. I might gotta go jump in one time. And the way it's feeling is weather, I might have to jump in with you, man. Great flat screen. Yeah, I'm feeling this. mess with the kitchen too much. I don't know about this. Oh, no, I can't cook. This might be a little shaky, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, they got the snacks? Oh, I didn't even know this opened up. Hold on. What we got in the fridge? We gotta get this stuff. They got pulled. This is my specialty right here. I like it, I like it. Nah, this is crazy. Oh, they got the highlights going. Damn wrong with it. You go to your superstar when you need a bucket. Jabari Smith has range. Smooth jumper, and that's what makes him a top pick. Man, that's enough up in here watching Jabari kick these <laughs> mans. Yeah, let's see what outside hitting on. Oh, nah, this is lit. It's a lot of room for activities back here. Right here, we got the bin battle. Yeah, I know who's taking this one. Okay. Welcome to the draft house. Good snacks. Uh, we are OTE right now. You know, just coming back home and just really working and getting ready for what's next. So every shot is his own drill. Keep going back and forth until you make five. There we go. Love it. Good quick release. Nick Stapleton, I've been working with him since probably like 11th grade, just sharpening up my skills and stuff like that. He's a hard worker. He wants to grind, he wants to go get it, and every day is a challenge for me and him to get better. So catching, shooting, catching on the move, putting the ball on the floor, working on relocating, drifting, and obviously free throws. You know, that's what I am. I'm a shooter, so I'm um, just making sure my shot's always right, always getting catch and shoot in every day. Just making sure that's sharp. We are at a great start right now. We gonna continue to build and grind from this moment on. Yeah, turn the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying though, when he hopping, it's because he feel like he don't know where he at. Him having his dad around, he's a big vocal point in his life. We don't want him for his ease. Basketball was always around me. You know, my dad played it, so I've been, I've been playing basketball since I was probably like three, four. He's played at all levels, high division one, NBA, overseas. He's been a great role model, giving me answers to the test, so anything he says, I try to listen to it and take it in. Run up that straight, hop hard dribble. There we go, good feet. We're preparing to get ready for the NBA draft. Any dad's dream. Got drafted, say, 46 by the Sacramento Kings in 2000. I had a chance to play with C. Webb, Jason Williams, and Mike Bivy and a lot of other guys. Yeah, me and my dad real close. You know, him growing up without a dad, he's real big on making the relationship close and just always being with me through it all. Go. It's just been a beautiful joy to watch him pick up his unbelievable work ethic. And you know, his competitive edge is a joy to watch in itself. He loves me, and sometimes I forget that. You know, sometimes I just think he's trying to be hard on me, but just gotta look at it as him wanting the best for me, that's all. My ultimate goal is to be one of the greatest ever. I knew this day was gonna come sooner or later, so I'm just ready to get through it and really get to whatever team gets me and just get to work. A lot of people assume I gotta see the basket to score. Just like they assume they can't afford great insurance. All day. 
a surprisingly great race to fit any budget. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Right now, uh, I'm just in LA training, getting ready, just enjoying this pre-draft process. That's pretty much waking up every day, coming to the gym twice a day, lifting every day, taking care of my body, just really trying to become a professional. My uncle is my trainer. Him and Mike, they both worked me out. Make three in a row. What's at stake? A lot. He's been pursuing a dream since a little kid, so we're trying to ramp up for combine, making sure that the conditioning is through the roof. But my ones in the morning are typically the more harder ones. Time drills, time shooting drills, cardio, and like your mental focus where like, if you miss two in a row, you can't get mad because you still got to push through because you be in time. Today I was working out Chai Chai Washington. Uh, I know he's a big guard, I know he plays hard, I know he likes to play in big games, he changes speeds, he's strong. You know, he does a lot of really good things that I think that translates in the NBA game for sure. We did some spot shooting, some one drill pull-ups, twist, wiper, which is some of the NBA sets that they run. So trying to get him used to hearing that terminology. Having a house with stairs, and every day you want to take a step up, you know what I mean? So every day if we progress, we take a step up, eventually we'll get there, to the top. Bang, bang. Yep. I think I'm projected somewhere, you know, in the lottery conversation a little bit. Yeah, I think that's where I'm projected. Put in the hard work and all the other stuff, take care of yourself. You know, not everybody in the world can go to the NBA, so fortunately I'm blessed to be in the position I am now. Just excited and hopefully I can make it. Power chambers, but it helps your body, it's like a recovery thing. My uncle said when he was gonna hop in with me. So when he told me he was gonna hop in, I knew for a fact that I could him like step out. Hit me with a song. What song do you guys wanna listen to? I don't know anything about little baby. Little baby? Yeah. I gotta show young bull what we doing. We gotta fight through this, baby. So we're gonna do 330. Ready? When I was going out, I was just like, I'm not going to tap out. The song came on, and I was just going with the beat. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go, I do what I need to make it last. And it was negative 120 in there. Cheers to my past. If I had no music, I probably would have had to come out. One minute. It was cold, smacking me in the face. So I stopped breathing for a little bit. I don't feel nothing. I feel good. I feel loose. Uh, I ain't gonna front. That, that was a little different. He didn't have to do it, but he wanted to. Um, that just goes to show that he really cares. I just wanted to show him that we all gonna sacrifice to help him get to where he wants to get to. He wants me to be great, and he wants to be great with me. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Get here. What's up, y'all? What's up with you? How y'all feeling, man? You didn't think I was gonna let you come to Atlanta and not say what's up? It was good, it was good. Hey, I'm gonna be hanging with y'all through the games and challenges today in the State Farm Draft House to make sure y'all not cheating. Grab some cues, man. Don't whip on the boy. Man, show what you made about, boy. Can you talk about y'all decision to go pro and what your goals are going to the next level? You got back to Tulsa Lucifer. Meetings with the coaches, they told me to put my name in. Got a lot of good feedback. I'm working out in Memphis with Mike Miller. Oh, wow. I'm at P7, knowing that the NBA floor is so spaced out for guards like me. I can be dynamic and just play how I play. I usually wake up around 9, 9.15. I'm not a morning person, but I'm becoming one. As of right now, you know, as a pro, you gotta be a morning person. You never know what time you gotta get up. So you gotta get your proper rest to be able to get up in the morning. From college to now, it's every day you in here, every morning, getting better, lifting weight, getting stronger, or for the next level. I just know this is something I want to do, and it's something I do. Being one for him is going to be the moment of my life. The car driver's a uh, Scat Pack Charger, 2021. Guys, 
Yeah. <laughs> Fast. You tighten up? Sometimes. <laughs> Strength and conditioning. We've been training right there before we head to the gym for about an hour. It's every day my mama sent me a text about how blessed I am, you know. Just waking up, be able to just play basketball for free, something you love. It's just a blessing to just do it every day. So I just get up and just do it. We are at Excel Performance and Wellness, powered by the Campbell Clinic. So today we're working with uh, all of the NBA prospects. And these guys come in, they get a high level training. We work on mobility, flexibility, stability, a lot of strength, and really focusing on what they need to do to get better on the court, and then in turn go into the combine. That's it, full extension. In the weight room stuff, it's about mentally, mostly. So it just give me better and get me ready for the combine event. Everything that's in front of me right now. This is what they're doing at the next level, so I gotta be ready. That's it. JD is an athlete, you know, off the charts. You can tell that there's some things that he hasn't done, and so he's learning. So he's really open to the coaching. That's it. Sink, 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 and pow. Good. That's it. That's what I want. The exercise ball, that was a, that was a crazy workout. You had to like hold on the wall with one of your legs up, so it was like, we didn't know what we were doing at first. <laughs> Great group of guys, We've got good energy in here, working hard, they're encouraging each other. Here, keep tight through here, there you go. Especially when there's a challenge, they'll push each other to do better. He has so much fun with it, he'll take the physio balls, pretend like playing basketball with it. JD's always focused, he's always working hard, but he likes to have fun, right? You know, you see him in his movements, his, he's free, he's singing a little bit. That's one of the most important things, to have fun while you're doing it. Don't let nobody take the joy out of it. Next time on the Drive House. He had the size, the athleticism was all him too, so it's just been crazy to see. The distractions today, there was a lot going on in the gym today. I seen, I think, Quavo came in. Pull ups is my kryptonite. Make it happen for you. I'll let you hide. walking out there for y'all. When I came outside, I kind of knew real quick why everybody was here and all of that. So seeing my dream car sitting right in front of me. Who got the keys? Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.